Let's take question number seven. If the fourth term in the binomial expansion of this one is equal to 200 and x is greater than 1, then the value of x is. See, this question is a bit something wrong in it. If we look at this expression and we solve with it, the answer we are obtaining is nowhere in the options. But if I consider the question like this one, means eliminating this portion. If I consider this entire thing is in power of x and x is not in denominator, then I am getting some solution for it. Let us see how we go for it. If we consider 6c3 multiplied with x to the power 1 upon 1 plus log x to the base 10 whole cube raised to the power half because root was there multiplied with x to the power 3 by 12 is equal to 200. Now, 6 e 3 is 20 simplifying we have x raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied with 1 plus log x in denominator itself into x raised to the power 1 by 4 is equal to 10. Now, if we take log on both sides to the base 10, we get 3 by 2, 1 plus log x to the base 10. Right, plus 1 by 4, whole multiplied with log x to the base 10 is equal to 1. I am sure this is clear. Let us say log x is t, so that the things are easier taking log x as t and further taking LCM, we get 3 by 2 into 1 plus t plus 1 by 4 whole multiplied with t is equal to 1. Now, we further take LCM to get 6 plus 1 plus t whole multiplied with t is equal to 4 into 1 plus t correct just simplify to get the final result for it we are getting t square plus 70 minus 40 that is plus 3t minus 4 is equal to 0 now factorizing it we get t plus 4 multiplied with t minus 1 is equal to 0 giving us the value for t as 1 or minus 4 that means log x to the base 10 is 1 or minus 4. Now, when we look at the options we see x is given as 10, 100, 10 cube, 10 to the power 4. So, from here the first one will give me x is equal to 10 from the given options. So, let us mark as the correct answer option number 1. So, I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 8. So, moving on to question number 8. The tangent to the parabola y square equals 4x at the point where it intersects the circle x square plus y square equals 5 in the first quadrant passes through the point. So, let us start this one first make some geometry part. So, we have x axis, y axis. Now, draw circle here with center at origin say like this right. We have parabola y square equals 4 x like this correct. Now, question says where these two curves are intersecting. So, clearly this is the point we have to find tangent at this point on the parabola like this one this will be the tangent at this point correct this point is clear. So, let us start this question now. We have equation of circle and parabola just solve the two to get the point of intersection. We have x square plus instead of y square put here 4 x is equal to 5. Take this 5 on the other side and factorize you get x plus 5 into x minus 1 equals 0. Clearly x is equal to 1. Now, put x equals 1 in equation of parabola, you get y equals plus minus 2. We are talking about only in the first quadrant meaning this point. So, this is 1 comma 2. This point is not required. 
this is clear now tangent to parabola that is y square equals 4 x at 1 comma 2. So, we can write the equation of tangent it is 2 y equals 2 times x plus 1 or simply y equals x plus 1. This is the equation of tangent. Now, which of these four points are lying on this one? My tangent is y equals x plus 1. Clearly, when you put 3 by 4 comma 7 by 4 here, it is satisfied. So, correct answer is option number 1. So, I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 9. If three distinct numbers ABC are in GP and the equation AX square plus 2BX plus C equals 0 and DX square plus 2EX plus F equals 0 have a common root, then which one of the following statements is correct? See, we can apply the condition for common roots, but whenever you find additional condition, my suggestion is go with that additional condition, you may get the result faster. Here it is given ABC are in GP, meaning B square equals AC. Now, equation 1 AX square plus 2BX plus C equals 0 involves ABC. If I look at these ABC, I can clearly see the discriminant of this equation is 4B square minus 4AC. So, that becomes 0. So, let us go with this condition. Discriminant of the first equation say D1, it is 4B square minus 4AC that is 0, meaning that roots are equal. Roots are equal say alpha and alpha. So, alpha plus alpha is minus 2B by A or alpha is minus B by A. This is clear. Now, second equation has one root in common. So, clearly minus B by A is a root which is satisfying the second one as well. Put here minus B by A. Substituting minus B by A in second equation D into B square by A square plus 2E into minus B by A plus F say I am writing here into C upon C is equal to 0. Now, B square by A is C. So, we can write here D by A into C minus 2E by B. If I write here B in denominator and B here, so I can write here C again plus F by C into C is equal to 0, giving me the final result D by A minus 2E by B plus F by C is equal to 0 or 2E by B is equal to D by A plus F by C. So, we get the final conclusion over here as this one. So, what is the conclusion from here? Yes, D by A, E by B, F by C are in A P. Let us check out. D by A, E by B, F by C are in A P that is option number 3 is the correct answer for this question. So, I am sure this is also clear. Let us move on to next question of this paper.